what the f does a rainbow have to do with sucking dick anyway? Ain't like it's magically delicious. Isn't that right, girls? Because if it was, it would be hard to get you to do it once in a while, huh? In this neighborhood, you can't say anything about gay people. Stop it. <laughs> they are sensitive. Why? Because they suck <laughs> Stop it. Okay, because they suck dick, they get to have a parade and fuck up traffic for three days. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Girls, y'all suck dick, y'all don't get a parade. What the fuck is that all about? Where's your goddamn parade? All cocksuckers to the sidewalk, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm a dick. No, look, folks, I'm not homophobic. I'm gas conscious, okay? I ain't willing to take a 15-mile detour so little bunny foo-foo can walk up and down the street going, yay for dick, I like it in the ass. F that. <laughs> look, I'm sorry. Now I'm a gas dinner, $2 a gallon. F you, Holmes. <laughs> look here, Bubbles. Go suck dick in your bedroom. I'm not driving there, okay? And gay people just take they used to be everybody's and make it gay. Remember when you was a kid, you just draw a picture of your house, you put a nice big rainbow in the sky? <laughs> gay. <laughs> they done took the rainbow. I want the rainbow back. You can't have the rainbow, goddammit. We didn't vote on this shit. I didn't get an email. F you, you greedy bastard. How many colors do you need, goddammit? <laughs> and what the f does a rainbow have to do with sucking dick anyway? Ain't like it's magically delicious. Isn't that right, girls? Because if it was, it would be hard to get you to do it once in a while, huh? Mm -hmm. And look, if you're gay and you're all worked up, well, guess what? It's just a fucking joke. Even though, personally, I do want the rainbow back, it's just a fucking joke. Look, you can take a dick in the ass, you can damn sure take a joke. They told me not to make fun of the magician who got ate up by the tiger. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's fucking funny. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing hanging out with a cat? Cats are vile creatures when they're eight pounds. They fucking hate you. If you own a cat, it fucking hates you. All you're there to do is feed it, scratch that place where its tail meets its ass, and clean out its shit box, okay? They fucking hate you. You'll be petting. This is the proof. They'll be petting. You think, oh, no, he loves me. Really? Keep on petting. He'll fucking turn. Ah, and start bite your ass. They're fucking evil when they're eight pounds. This is a 600 pound tiger. Look here, dummy. That's a It's going to get you. Good. That's what you get for making a proud fucking beast of the jungle and fucking putting it on a goddamn gay disco ball and having two fucks poke it with a stick. The fucking tiger was going to snap. You know. I bet he was backstage before the show going, this is fucking bullshit, Marty. Fucking had enough, bro. I'm a goddamn tiger. Seven years he's been poking me with that stick and maybe me run that big fucky fucking disco ball. So I'm now the fucking poster child for gay cats. What the fuck is this? Shut up, Marty. You got it easy. You pop out of a fucking box. Me, I fucking take it in the ass. I hate that motherfucker's been calling me Snowball, too. That's some bullshit. I swear to God, he hits with that stick, it's his fucking ass. You know there was a guy in the audience, though. You know there was a guy in the audience who had a shit day at the tables. He got dragged to that fucking show by his wife. Had to spend $150 a fucking ticket. He's fucking pissed off. And back, he's going, man, I wish fucking that tiger eat that fat. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm glad. People go, animal rights, animal rights. Anim animals don't need you. When shit gets intolerable, they'll handle it themselves. <laughs> that tiger had enough. Good. <laughs> now it's just Siegfried. Ha, ha, ha. They're giving him Roy Tetanus and they're giving the cat AZT. Oh, too much. You're right. 
<laughs> Gay men never have disease. <laughs> that. Anyway, doctors have promised he'll be back on his knees in no time. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Roy's first words yesterday, he woke up, opened his eyes and go, ta-da. <laughs> that tiger was quoted saying, he tastes great. I'm talking about everybody boohoo the poor man the poor man how about the f***ing tiger he can't exactly gargle with scope that taste is gonna be in there for a while 